after this video, you're going to like the way you look. Because you're going to start sweating to the oldies, baby. Welcome, friends. I am the man you may know as Z. From Our Views Will Kill You, and I'm here to talk a little bit about The Court Jester. You may not have seen it, but it's a short film starring Pauly Shore. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Pauly Shore, he only started two movies that are of any consequence that I can recall. And uh, I might have to look them up because one of them was called Biodome, and the other one was with Brendan Fraser, where he plays a caveman. And for those of you who don't remember... Weezing in the jizz. That would be Pauly Shore. He does a really uh, touching tribute to Richard Simmons, who is still alive. So he's not dead or anything like that. And I just felt like uh, we should just touch on it real briefly. You know, I like to bring some positivity. And when I see something done well and I think it needs a little more interaction and people should check it out, I'm going to link the video right up here. Because uh, it deserves to be seen. It's called The Court Jester. It's a short film starring Pauly Shore by the Lewis Brothers, whoever they are. And uh, it's actually pretty neat. He has a life. Uh, there's this, this guy. He's an underappreciated segment producer who has a life-altering run-in with enigmatic fitness guru Richard Simmons. For those of you who don't remember Richard Simmons, and I'll come back to this video shortly. He was super famous back in like the, for like three decades, like 30 years. He was the most famous person ever. If you see, like even in this 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 movie, he's on the Ellen show. He had run-ins with Howard Stern. He was all over the place. I don't know how many videos he made, but they're claiming, at least in the court jester, that he made at least 59 videos of just working out. And just trying to help people get moving. And it didn't matter who you were, what age you were, what you were doing. Old people, young people, heavy people, light people. And it's one of those weird things where, you know, when you hear bad things about people. Like Ellen, let's take her for example. Ellen was known as like, nice comes first and blah, 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 blah. But you never knew behind the scenes that she was an absolute tyrant and scumbag. Yet Richard Simmons was a little different. You knew he was trying to help people, but you also knew he was off his rocker, weird. And in his own eyes, I guess he was the court jester of what was of, of the world at the time. And but he was always known as being difficult and he was just a pain in general. But he genuinely meant well, which is interesting because most of the monsters that live in the world, you never hear anything bad about them. But Richard Simmons, you well, you would still get stuff that was like, oh, he's kind of annoying. He's kind of a bitch. But I think um, it's interesting because he was such a recluse. He didn't want anything getting out there about himself. And he, in, in fact, he does not support this. And this short movie, I think, is to remind everybody that Pauly Shore was an actor. For those of you who don't know, Pauly Shore's mom used to own the, la the comedy store in L.A. She was like the head person there where Joe Rogan and many, many, many others got their start. And, you know, when your mom owns a comedy club, uh, I think you're going to end up in comedy. And he was like one of those, I'm not going to say like 15 minutes of fame, but he had a very specific sense of humor that did not age very well. It was kind of like, um, stoner bro back, like played like real dumb stoner guy. But this was his, chi he, this is him trying to show people he can seriously act. And it reminded me that he can apparently actually act. Because I, while he doesn't get Richard Simmons' voice down at all, he's just doing his voice, he does get the mannerisms. And it's actually very touching and very sweet. And just a tiny bit about Richard Simmons. See, look at this. Look at how short those shorts are, baby. They're going all the way up. He's letting the boys hang out. And there are so many rumors about this guy, and he just doesn't ever talk about it. he's got this amazing perm i don't want to go into his whole life history if you want to look it up you look it up yourself but i did want to give credit where credit is due it was really touching to me it was a very sweet piece paulie shore says his richard simmons biopic which is interesting 
I think he is making a play to make a real film based on how much interest there is in this. I don't know if it's a word bait or whatever he's going for, but it's definitely something different and something to expand his horizons as an actor. And I can't believe I'm defending Pauly Shore. He made Biodome. Like, come on. <laughs> you know, um, he's like one of those annoying... <laughs> I, I hate to say this. He's like an annoying actor like Rob Schneider. Like Rob Schneider did The Animal. And I like Rob Schneider's movies. Some of them, at least, were really good. And, but P, he got the reputation of being that kind of comedian, like pigeonholed. He can only do one thing. And <clears throat> Richard Simmons apparently disavows the film because Richard Simmons is a really private person. He doesn't really want to talk about anything. I remember Howard Stern used to pester him, like, are you gay or not? And it's like, man, it's so not relevant to the man's story. Like, his, his story is that he wants to help people. And I think it's weird because it's not very long. It's a nine-minute movie, and hopefully I don't talk more than this. And, he, and he's saying that, you know, he's coming from love. And it's not vindictive. He's not trying to make fun of it. And it's clearly not. I think it's actually very beautiful and very touching. And it's funny. There are no good pictures. I, sh I should look it up. But if you if you look at a picture of Richard Simmons and Pauly Shore when they smile, they have the same smile. It's kind of it's kind of neat. So I don't think Pauly Shore meant any harm by this. If anything, it's a loving tribute to Richard Simmons, a national treasure by any stretch of the imagination. But it's it's just so interesting. It's not. It's very like it's very low budget, very small. But here's him with Ellen. Like they didn't, you know, they got this weird chick to play Ellen. Like it's kind of surreal how it is. It's very like um, dreamlike, and I just thought it was very, it was like cute, <laughs> you know. But it's definitely worth watching. These guys, they at the time of viewing when I first watched it, only had like a hundred thousand views. Now it's past half a million. I think it should get over a million. I, I've been trying to share this with people. Here's the segment producer, and he's like staring at a donut, and he wants to eat a donut because he feels bad about himself. And then Richard shows up, and he's like, hi, my name's Richard. Who are you? And he's like, oh, my name's David, but I know who you are. And Richard's like, oh, that's great that you know who I am. Like, he's so, like, he's being humble, which is very much playing into what Richard Simmons was. So, at least from, from my recollection. I mean, I wasn't very familiar with him. I just know he's been a long time celebrity and I think this is a really kind of like I'm like I feel like I'm gushing over it but it's very good I really enjoyed it I really enjoyed it it was very touching and you know I really and I don't know that he called I, I tried to research it a little bit to see if he calls himself the court jester but I think it's uh it, it really does make sense for Richard Simmons that he's the court jester because it has like his email address. He's like, your court jester. And he's just trying to make people laugh and have fun and move and, and, and exercise. And, uh, you know, check it out. That's all I ask. You know, you don't normally get these from me. I'm not ranting. I'm being nice. We can enjoy this together. Tell me what you think down below. Watch it. Come back to this video. Tell me if you liked it. If, I'm, if I have lost my mind... Some people that I showed this to were like, what is wrong with you? Why was this a thing? Pauly Shore? What? I, trust me. It's nice. It's it's good. Let's put some positivity in the world. In the meantime, check out our full-length podcast. It's on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher. Check it out. Give us a review. It helps us out. You could join the channel. You can give us super chats. You can do all sorts of great things like that. Um, you know, help us out. Help us grow. We appreciate it. Like and subscribe. Durr. <laughs> and then in the meantime you can also catch us Friday nights live streaming here on YouTube you can also catch us on Rumble as well but it's YouTube at 7.30pm Friday nights Eastern Standard Time come join the party it's a lot of fun you have a good time I promise you you will we'll make you exercise so anyway from all of us here at our reviews we'll kill you we love all y'all but I'm on to the next one